For this next problem, we have a pole cast a shadow 15 meters long when the angle of elevation of the sun is 61 degrees. If the pole is clean 15 degrees from the vertical directly towards the sun, determine the length of the pole. So, sa problem na to, meron tayong pole that cast a shadow of 15 meters. Okay? So, you have a pole here. So, the pole is so, the pole is leaned 15 degrees from the vertical. So, it is leaned. We have here, okay, that is 15 degrees from, we have the vertical. So, let's say this is the pole. And the shadow is, you have... Say that this is the shadow. So the shadow is you have 15 meters long. And the angle of elevation of the sun is you have 61 degrees. So the angle of elevation is measured from the horizontal which is counterclockwise so you have here the angle of elevation so it is above the horizontal so that is 61 degrees so we are required to find the length of the pole so you have here the length so in this problem we are required to find the length so first we find the angle here. So the angle here, so this is 90. So this, so you have this triangle. So it's 61 degrees. So this is 90 plus 15. So you have. You have 105, so this is 105 degrees. So this theta is, so the sum of these three angles is, you have 180. So 180 degrees, so equal, so you have 61 degrees plus, you have 105, plus you have angle theta. So theta equals, you have... 180 degrees minus you have 61 degrees minus 105 degrees so that is you have 14 degrees so this theta is so this length is you have 15 so here we have one side and we are required to find this length L. You have one side and two angles, wherein one angle is opposite the given side. So we can use the sine law. So using sine law, you have so from from sine law we have sine and say L over sine of this opposite angle 61 degrees you have sine 61 degrees is equal to you have here the given side you have 15 this 15 meters all over so you have sine you have the opposite of the 15 meter side is you have 14 so that is sine 14 degrees it means that L is equal to you have 15 meters times you have sine 61 degrees all over you have sine 14 degrees so L is equal to you have 15 times you have sine 61 over sine 
14 degrees. We have 54.23. Meters. So the length of the pole is you have 51, uh, 54.23 meters. This next problem we have the sides of a triangular lot are 130 meters, 180 meters, 190 meters. The lot is to be divided by a line bisecting the longest side and drawn from the opposite vertex. Find the length of the line. So we have a triangle which is you have three sides given so you have so you have the 130 meters so you have 180 and you have 190 so let's say this is a say this is b so let's say this is c so the longest side is bisected so the line bisecting the longest side drawn from the opposite vertex so the opposite vertex of the longest side is ito siya, so ito so it is bisected so bisected means it is divided into two equal length so this length will become so this is 190 M, so this is 190 divided by 2 so this will become you have 95 meter so this side will become you have 95 meters so we are required to find let's say this side x so we are required to find the length of the line that bisects the longest side. So for example the, here you have the angle, let's say this is angle, since this is B, so this is angle B, capital letter. So we can say that you have this triangle, meron tayong triangle, you, so X, say 95 meters. Here we have 130, and here you have angle B. So to find X, since we have here two sides and uh, angle here, but we have two unknowns, we can use the cosine law. So let's say, so X squared is equal to, you have the square, the sum of the square of the two sides, you have 130 squared plus... 95 squared minus 2 times itong dalawa 130 times 95 times cosine you have b so here you have two unknowns so let's solve first for b so b here we can see this triangle so we have three sides given so if you have three sides that is given you can find any angle using the cosine law so this is a cosine law so here finding b using the cosine law you can say that b squared here b squared that is, is equal to you have a squared plus you have c squared minus 2ac cosine b you do not hear that B is given, side B is given, A is given, C is given, but B is unknown, so you can find this. So you have, so B squared, so that is 180 meter, so you have squared is equal to, we have A here, 130 meters, squared plus C, you have 190 meters, squared minus 2 times, 130m times 190m we have cosine b so we can find this cosine b so cosine b is equal to so we can use our calculator to solve that so say that cosine b 
is just a variable so we can say that 180 squared you have alpha equals you have 130 squared plus you have 190 squared minus 2 times 130 so 190 times alpha x or you can say alpha x if we are just getting cosine b so kun lang na natin muna yung cosine b para mas madali siyang isolve ng calculator so you have shift solve you have 0 0.4 one seven. So, itong value, pwede natin i-store siya muna. So, shift store. We have shift store. A. Let's say A. Then, say cosine B is 0 0.417. So, B is. So, let's extract B. So, that is equal to. We have arc cosine 0 0.417 or simply we have cosine raised to negative 1 that is 0 0.417 so b equals so using your calculator just oh, uh, shift you have shift here cosine so the shift cosine of what we have yung in store natin sa a so alpha a. So that is 65.35 degrees. Now you can see here we have the angle now here B. So we can find X here. x squared you have x squared equals you have 130 squared plus 95 squared minus 2 times you have 130 times 95 cosine so you have the angle here 63.35 degrees So x, finding x, we have the square root of this expression. So we have 130 squared, so that is 130 squared plus 95 squared. So our angle is, we have 65.35, so we can store that in, as a shift store, say b. So we have 130 squared plus you have 95 squared minus 2 times 130 times you have 95 times you have cosine you have alpha b so this is our value for x squared since this is x you have the square root of that answer so you have 125 meters So the length of the side is 125 meters. So that's it for our today's video. So in my next video, I will be discussing about your spherical trigonometry. So the other branch of trigo. So this is plane trigo, which deals with the uh, plane figures of a triangle. So next, for my next video, I will be discussing about uh, the spherical trigonometry.